All right, this is Amy Grant. For those of you old enough to remember, she was without a doubt one of, if not the biggest Christian artist from the 80s, and then had a fairly successful secular career. She crossed over in the 90s, but just enormous influence on her fans and her followers. Now, me personally, I was never a fan of Amy Grant. I was suspect right from the start, even back in the 80s. I thought she was shallow, and it was pretty well confirmed when she did cross over and started singing secular music. Again, to a follower of Jesus Christ, this should be important. Christians serve and follow Jesus Christ. It matters when you start trying to meld the two, secularism and Christianity. It does not go together. So I've been offended by her from the get-go. And uh, today, after you finish watching this video, you'll see exactly why my suspicions were true. So I'm at churchleaders.com, and here's the headline. Amy Grant to host Nisa's same-sex wedding believes Jesus wants us to love God and love each other. That sounds very nice, doesn't it? Here you can uh, read a little bit about her history, her bio. But as we scroll down, we'll start right here. Grant's influential platform has given her the opportunity to speak out for the LGBT community. Here's what I want you to focus on first. Influential. And this is most definitely true. Worship leaders, Christian artists, singers need to be held to the highest of standards. I would say equal to a pastor, a preacher, an evangelist. And this is why. Influence. Amy Grant and others, including you know, people like Lauren Daigle, Mercy Me, her King and Country, they have massive influence. And this is terrifying when they don't stand foundationally with our Holy Bible, with the written word. And so when they do things like this, it affects millions, millions of people that follow uh, artists like Amy Grant think, well, this must be okay. And they don't bother to fact check her according to Holy Scripture. And what happens is you've got a church in decline because of these types of events or these things happening. You've got one of the world's biggest Christian uh, singers uh, confirming and speaking out for the LGBT community. It's bananas. But as you scroll down a little bit, look what she says here. It doesn't matter how we behave. Wow. It doesn't matter how we're wired. We're all our best selves when we believe our to our core that I'm loved. And then our creativity flourishes. We're like, I'm going to arrange flowers on your table and my table when we're loved. See, it's, it's one of these, it's all about love. Never mind what, what God says in his holy word. It's all about love. So your actions, just be who you are. It doesn't matter. It's all about love. That's not what the Bible says. As it finishes, it says, uh, Grant shared with the Washington Post that she and her husband will be hosting her niece's wedding at their 450-acre farm. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, we can scroll down and see what God said about this subject. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. In Romans, chapter 1, we can scroll down. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which was against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. God doesn't like this. It's antichrist, what Amy Grant is promoting, and participating in. In Leviticus chapter 20, 
God says, if a man lie, also lie with mankind as he lie with, with a woman, both of them have committed what? An abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. This is the world that we live in, isn't it? Where you have one of the, the largest Christian platforms being held by one Amy Grant, who should 100% be preaching the gospel through her music, but more so, and especially you think, to her family. What kind of a favor is she doing for her niece when her niece stands at judgment and receives the truth of what's written in God's holy scripture? She'll look at Amy and say, why didn't you tell me the truth? You not only didn't tell me the truth, you condoned my desires, my worldly desires, and you participated in it. You didn't tell me the truth. And this is the tragedy of what we're seeing in today's church. The leaders are some of the greatest participants in promoting actual antichrist sin. Here's where we are. Certainly pray for Amy Grant. Pray for her niece that somehow this does not happen. Because all that matters is truth in Jesus Christ. Follow his holy scripture. Do not be deceived. The best thing that Amy could do for her niece is to preach the truth of Christ. It isn't all about just love. It is all about godly love. Love in Jesus Christ. If that were the truth, if it was just all about love, then why did Christ go to the cross? It just wouldn't make sense, would it? Why did he suffer terribly, including scourging, torture, humiliation, and one of the most excruciating deaths via crucifixion? Why would he do all that? If it's just all about just love, just do whatever you want as long as you love. Think about that scenario with Ellen DeGeneres. Here is uh, where Lauren Daigle performed on her show. And she, uh, Lauren Daigle, had a similar response or statement. And, you know, it's just about love. You know, God wants me to be kind and to love. And uh, how's that going to work out for Ellen when Lauren had an opportunity? to share the gospel, and she chose not to. And here we've got a band, a Christian band, called uh, For King and Country, partnering with, <laughs> I don't know what to say, this is so absurd. But again, does this work on any level? And the answer is no. Not when you claim to stand in Jesus Christ, it does not work. So it's not just with the LGBTQ. It's crossing over into secularism all around. It doesn't work. So even as we read the previous scripture, this is how you can know that what I'm saying is true. Because it's in scripture, in great specificity, it is most certainly not just about love is love is love. John chapter 14, look what Jesus himself says. If you love me, this is, by the way, is the only kind of love that matters. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is what Jesus Christ said. So we find his commandments all throughout the Bible, old and new. You can discern. We're all adults here. We know what Jesus is saying. It's not just about love. It's about godly love. It's about Christ love. And that's all that matters.